Hi guys, so I am back today and I'm going to show you how to do a really nice tandoori chicken marinade. So here I have chopped up about eight to nine chicken breasts and I've just finely cut them up and sliced them so they're not too thin, they've still got quite a bit of thickness. I'll show you them properly later when I'm putting them into the bowl. So I'm going to start off by making a marinade. So the first thing you need, not too much, about two tablespoons of oil. Now I'm using sunflower oil here, but it can be any oil. So you don't want too much oil, about two is fine. And the next thing I'm going to add is yogurt. So I've got about 400 grams of yogurt here. So um, the exact measurements of yogurt will depend on how much chicken you use. So you basically need enough yogurt to just coat the chicken marinade until it's coated evenly. So I'm going to add my yogurt. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that in there. And the next I have my garlic, ginger and chili paste. And I'm just going to pop about two heaped tablespoons of these. So I will put down below separately how much ginger, garlic and chilli you need. So next I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of salt. Not too much. And I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of turmeric. Then I have my red chilli powder. Now I like to add one teaspoon, um, but like I said in my previous videos, you know, if you aren't somebody who eats a lot of spice or find things quite spicy, then just stick to about half a teaspoon. And then I've got some coriander cumin powder. Add about half a teaspoon of that. Next, I'm going to add some cumin seeds. So I'd add about one teaspoon. And that will be enough. Okay, next I'm going to add some lemon juice. So I'd say about two tablespoons of lemon juice. That should be enough. And some garam masala. So garam masala is quite a strong spice. So I'd only say about half a teaspoon. And that should be enough. Okay, so something else I do like to add is a hot curry paste so you can buy the pataks hot curry paste i'm not going to use this much but um i just like to use it to add a bit of extra flavor to it so i'm going to add a tablespoon of that in the last thing you need for the tandoori is some orange food coloring so i'm going to add about two tablespoons of orange food colouring in. So once you've got all the ingredients, get a spoon and mix it up. Once you've got all the ingredients in the bowl, just mix it up nicely, really blend in all the spices, all the yogurt, getting everything from the side, and you'll have a nice paste. So as I said, this is a really easy, quick, simple marinade. Okay. Now, once you've added everything in, you need to add your chicken in. To really let it marinate, give it a good mix with your hands. So um, these are the size chicken pieces I've added in. So not too thick, as I said, you want them to cook evenly at the same time. So I'm going to add these in. Use your hands carefully to just marinate the chicken and coat it up evenly. Okay. Now, once it's coated, ideally, um, you can leave it overnight. You really want the marination to seep in, so you can get a really nice flavour for the chicken. Otherwise, you know, if you're deciding it as a last minute for dinner, marinate it for about an hour. That's done now. I'm just gonna take my gloves off. So 
So what you should do next is cover it with some cling film, pop it in the fridge and leave it for about an hour. And then with this dish, so you can cook it on the stove or you could put it in the oven. I prefer putting it in the oven because I think it really softens up the chicken. Okay. Hi guys, okay, so I put the tandoori chicken just on a normal oven tray, spread it out, I'll pop a bit of oil in the bottom so it doesn't stick. It shouldn't anyway because of the marinade. And here you have it. So it's come out really, really nice. The chicken's really soft, really tender, and it's ready to serve. It took about, I'd say 45 to 50 minutes in the oven. Pop it in the middle just to make sure it's evenly cooked. And yeah, here you have it, tandoori chicken.